Hello, just landed in Fiji. I'm gonna be in one of these off-road vehicles. Look at me! I'm so wet! <laughs> I just arrived in Fiji and honestly, when you mention Fiji, what comes to mind is Fiji water and white sandy beaches and crystal clear water. But apparently there's more to it. Now I've always wanted to explore the Pacific Island region. I've never been to a single country in it. Fiji is my first. I'm here because the Tourism Fiji Board has invited me to check out this place. And apparently there is a whole adventurous site to this island. Follow me. Just checked into my hotel at the Pearl. This is located in Pacific Harbor, which is the adventure capital of Fiji. This is where you want to stay if you want to have access to all the activities, whether it's sea or land. The Pacific Harbor is a one-stop shop. And of course, there's so many accommodation types, you know, in this area. There's a five-star hotel, there's hostels as well, budget hotels. But the Pearl is a four-star hotel, and I kind of like it because it's really affordable and you get a little bit of luxury as well. Let me take you on a room tour. You get a toilet, a nice shower, and here's the room. It's pretty big. And the lobby opens out to the marina. A lot of the boat cruises leave from here, which is really convenient. If you're coming to Fiji to do activity sports, you might as well just spend a couple of nights at the Pacific Harbor. It's about two and a half hour drive from the international airport. But you know what? If you're gonna do any activities, you're gonna have to make a trip down here on a day tour anyway. All right, here we are, Terra Trek. I'm gonna be in one of these off-road vehicles. Well, the thing is, you need a driver's license to operate one of these vehicles, which I don't, but I was told that I'll get a driver, so yay. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna be driving off-road for a while and then trekking down to a waterfall where I'll be jumping in. Okay, so what's going on here? Uh, we'll be hiking down to the waterfall, five to ten minutes hike. Yep. It's gonna be slippery and uh, these are hiking sticks. Oh my god, I need something tall like this. It's also for stabbing if you find any <laughs> wild pigs. Oh my god, I can't deal. This is the terrain that I need to hike down. <laughs> it's like, whoa, all muddy because of the rain last night. Torrential rains here, they get cyclones. There's nothing like being under the rush of a waterfall to feel connected with nature again. I highly recommend this trek. Hey, so we just got to Sigatoka town and about to board the Sigatoka river cruise which happens at about 8.45 a.m. in the morning. We're gonna experience culture today and hang out with the locals. Can't wait for that. So this is where we're gonna get suited up with live jackets. But I love <laughs> All right, so boarding the boat right now. Ta-da! what it is, hey! Here we go! So we just touched bank. We're gonna be walking to the village right now. It's quite a trek up. It's like dirt path. Check this out. We still have a bit more to go up there. We just arrived at the Sautabu village. And this is where we're gonna be having our lunch and hanging out with the locals. So making our way to the village chief's house. Pula! Take off your hat and your sunglasses. Carry your bag when you go in. That is the chief. The significance of a kava ceremony is a way of the villagers welcoming visitors into the village. You have to bring some kava roots and if the villagers accept your presence, they will turn it into a kava drink and therefore accepting you to step into their space. So I guess we're accepted. 
We're eating lunch right now in the community hall. Food's all laid on the floor. Everything is grown in the village, so it's organic and pretty much farm to table. Sigatoka River Safari is a must do. This is hands down the best all-in-one express experience of Fiji for the time-stopped traveler. You get a mix of culture and action all in one day. This local village is not a show village. This is an actual village where people live and work in. And then on the way back, that's where the action kicks in. The high-speed river boat does 360 turns like at least several times. I think my boat captain did it five times on the way back. It was pretty dope. You know, it sounds dangerous and everything, but it's good for all ages as long as you're one meter in height. Alright, so we're back from our river cruise. My hair is just all blown out of place. Dress appropriately for coming on this tour. Flip flops is the best uh, footwear. And uh, yeah, now we're just gonna check into our hotel. Guys, we are at the Shangri-La Fiji. Oh man, this is gorgeous. Guys, can I just tell you that the tea spa is pretty much my spa dream come true. Of course, if you're planning on staying here, you can book a regular room, but if you do, make sure it's a room at the Reef Wing because that's the adults only wing and it's just so chic. I mean, if you want to up your game, I say throw on a little bit of an upgrade and stay at the spa. Now, first of all, if you're doing just a regular massage, you already get your own brewery, which is like a villa. But you know what? You can also spend the night at the spa if you book a spa package or a spa stay. I'm gonna do a bit of a room tour. Here is the king size bed. Don't mind my camera over there. Content needs to be made. And then, this is what you wake up to, guys. Oh my god. Oh, can you imagine that? And then you don't have to leave the room because there are massage beds right here. Can you hear how excited I am? And then, there's a bath, a shower, more ocean view where you can chill at, have your breakfast set here if you like. This is not even the end, guys. Look, there's an outdoor shower as well. Oh, man. Come on, guys. Would you rather stay at this room or a regular hotel room? Come on. Okay, so I'm with Namala. She's the spa manager. Okay, just tell me how much is it to stay here if I was a solo female traveler? It's 500 Fijian dollars a night, and um, you get a bath, steam. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And then followed by that, you have a full body scrub, mm -hmm. full body massage. And then after that, you'll be having a nice meal. <gasps> dinner served outside, overlooking the ocean. Mm. And then the therapist retires for the night. You stay over the whole night. Next morning, wake up call around about 7 a.m. Mm -hmm. Breakfast. Mm -hmm. And then we start off with a facial to finish off the whole journey. <laughs> what a tough life. 500 Fijian dollars for one person. What about yes. two persons? 998. Oh my God, guys, this is a steal. You get to stay here, wake up to the ocean view, fall asleep to the sounds of the waves, get treated to two meals and five treatments. Yeah. Think about it. Actually, don't, just do it. Okay, so I just got to Natandola Beach. I'm here with the boys from PG Surf Co. Hey, Willa! Willa, Willa! We're gonna be doing some water sports today, um, some sub wing, which I've never done before, and a sea scooter. This is for you if you don't have a scuba diving license, okay? Sorry about my uh, my sunscreen. I'm not a homeless person. This is a Fijian uh, all uh, organic sunscreen. It's uh, made out of charcoal wow. and, and coconut oil. And uh, we put dillo oil as well in aloe vera. It's all natural, it doesn't uh, destroy the coral. You should try some. It doesn't make you look the best, but it's good for your skin, so it actually detoxifies your skin. Oh man, this is awesome. <laughs> Getting towed to the sandbank. Woo! All in preparation. I'm wearing this big mask for the very first time. Gearing up to uh, try the sub wing. This is an underwater board that is towed by a jet ski at four kilometers per hour that allows you to dive deep into the water and maneuver around while you snorkel. It's amazing. And then there's this thing called the sea scooter. It's this really strange blender, electric fan hybrid contraption. It pretty much takes you forward underwater. You can dive deep. Whichever direction you point the scooter at, it will take you to. It's kind of like next level snorkeling. I mean, you look a bit stupid at first, but man, it is addictive. Both equipment requires zero training, okay? It's pretty much idiot proof and that's what makes me really happy. You don't have to be a scuba diver to enjoy marine life. You just need to check out the sub wing and the sea scooter thanks to the boys at Fiji Surf Co. We're here at Zip Fiji and about to attempt a uh, zip line. I'm afraid of heights and I don't like adrenaline at all but I figured I should at least try, give it a shot. Okay, so doing the hike up right now, because you have to 
hike up to go down. Just a little bit more. <laughs> Sit, relax and spin. <laughs> Just want to show you how to do breaks, where to put your hands. Okay, yeah, that's important. While you're coming down on zip line. You know what's making me really nervous? It's not actually going down this. It's remembering all those things so that I won't get stuck in the middle. That, for me, is the scary part. All right, all ready? Yeah. One, okay, two, one, two, three, pull yeah! He did it upside down. Have a nice day, Rolf. Yeah, and go! Bula! Woo! Woo! Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! Yay! Oh my god, I did it! Oh wow, that was exhilarating. I'm so glad I didn't let my fears get in the way. Um, highly suggest this activity now. They're all together about nine lines, nine zips if you want to do. I did the mini version, three lines. Uh, of course, the, the more you do, the higher you have to hike. Uh, there's a cave above this zip PG, which is really, really cool. So I guess the next time I come back, I'm going to try it. Just arrived on Mala Mala Beach Club Island. This entire island is a beach club. How rad is that? Welcome to Mala Mala. So this is what the entrance looks like. It's just full of people. It doesn't have any accommodation. You pretty much go there and enjoy it for the day. This club offers free non-motorized sports like I think stand-up paddling, snorkeling and all that. This is a cabana for small for two people. Nice. Oh, look at this. $85 for the whole day. Yes. Wow, so dope. And look at this. What? A... Look at the view. Wow, this is what a private cabana looks like. You need to book this in advance because it gets fully booked out so quickly. Today it's fully booked so I'm homeless. <laughs> I'm just gonna like bask in someone else's cabana for a while. But oh my god, this island is gorgeous. I'm here in one of the Grand Cabanas. Of course it's taken up. What's your name? Janine. Janine. Hi Janine. Hi, how are you? How do you like the cabana so far? So far so good. Let's do a tour. <laughs> okay, oh god, come in. Wow, this is gorgeous. Hi guys. Wow, look at this. Okay, so this is what you get if you have a bit of like, you know, planning. This is what you get. Love the view and away from the crowd. The main area. Hello. Wow. Not that bad. It's not super crowded. There are 14 day beds by the pool and it go at $50 a bed. Book yours early to avoid disappointment. And this is a first come first serve beach area. If you get her early on the first ferry at 10 a.m., you're gonna get a spot here. From the beach, there is the main restaurant. Hello, celebrity chef! Hola! Nice, nice to meet you. you. So I'm here with Lance. He's from Australia and he's a bit yeah. of a celebrity in Fiji. He's got his own TV show. Hola. And, Hola. and he's the executive chef here at the Mala Mala Beach Club. Love the Mala Mala. Oh my god, I'm so excited. What are the two must-try dishes? One from Starter and one from Mango. Right, Coconda, which is the cured fish. For sure, you gotta try that. And then I would try the fish tacos. Oh. So our tacos are inspired by the Indian community here. So the roti and the flavors, yeah. but yeah. Okay, so just got home literally, and wow, I didn't expect to fall so hard in love with Fiji. On hindsight, it's quite the torture to spend just only a week there. There's just so much to see. I remember arriving on the first day and asking the locals why Singaporeans should visit Fiji. I mean, we have white sand beaches in Thailand, which is just a mere two hours flight away. I think I have the answer. Once you set foot in this country, you get to experience a whole new Pacific Island culture like never before. You don't have to go far to experience local life because it is everywhere. And the islands of Fiji are are very well equipped with solid infrastructure like roads, transport, electricity, Wi-Fi. It's got all the modern infrastructure to facilitate ease of travel, which is very, very important. And also it's very safe. If you're wondering, are the Pacific Islands area safe? Well, not all, but Fiji is. You know, the thing about Fiji is, 
Fiji and her people will impose on you, but in a good way. With loud cries of bula, bright smiles, harmonious singing. I love how genuine and authentic Fijian people are. And I love how authentic, pristine and untouched the nature is here as well. Don't forget to download the Click Network app so you can watch the videos way before they hit YouTube. And subscribe to us on YouTube as well while you're there. If you want to check out my Fiji photos, you can go to my Instagram at Rob. There's so much of the world to explore. Don't wait too long to do so. Till the next adventure, bye!